Let's say your Whirlpool washing machine has a problem and you want to figure out how a part is really bad. This style washer has a great manual parts testing mode and I want to show you how to activate it along with the current tests that you can do. Note that these steps will work for all washing machines that have these oval LED segments just below the washer dial and that includes Whirlpool, Maytag, Kenmore, Roper, Amana, Admiral, and Crossley brand washers. So first, rotate your washer's control dial counterclockwise until it's at the north or 12 o'clock position. Once that's done, unplug the washing machine from the wall and with the unit unplugged, wait about a minute before you plug the power cord back in. You should hear a faint clicking noise from the back of the washer relay as it boots up. With the washing machine freshly rebooted, you want to rotate the dial again counterclockwise 360 degrees. Then you'll turn the knob right three clicks, left once, then right once again. It should be pointed at this point at three o'clock or all the way to the right position. You need to do all these things within three seconds, and it may take a few attempts, but if you've done this right, all the lights at the bottom of the washing machine control should flash on and off, showing that you've entered into the diagnostic mode. From the initial position with all lights flashing, turn the dial clockwise three clicks until the spin and done lights are illuminated, then press the start button. This will turn all the lights off, and you are now in the manual parts testing mode. Now before we go further, it may be a good idea to bypass this lid lock so you can visually inspect what's going on inside the washer drum when it's running. Now to do this, you'll need a T15 Torx screwdriver. Open up the lid and then view where the lid striker is on your machine, then remove carefully the two lid striker screws. Then take the striker and then place it into the lid lock with the striker facing towards the console so it fits right. This will allow you to activate the agitate and spin modes while still being able to open the lid. With no lights illuminated, we can begin our tests starting with the lid lock test. Let's go through the tests one by one on this Whirlpool washing machine without any commentary, just the modes. For the next four tests, you need to have the lid lock engaged. The machine will not run these modes without the lid lock being successfully engaged. Additionally, the basket speed sensor must know that the basket is at zero RPM, or in other words, it's fully stopped. Remember that opening the lid up to view agitation or spin is a major violation of safety standards, so please be very careful when you do this. When the washer spins from spin to agitate or vice versa, remember that it has to engage the shift actuating system. You're going to hear noises regarding its shifting position, which is a good way to audibly test the shifting system in case your washer has issues with either the spin or agitation modes.
Once you go past the heavy agitation test, it will reset this washing machine back to the first test, which is the lid lock. If you want to get the machine out of the manual parts testing mode, press and hold the start pause button for about six seconds. The lid lock will turn off and the machine will be reset to its normal operating mode. I hope this video helps you understand your Whirlpool style washer more. Remember to always look at error codes as well as the manual parts testing mode, because between the manual mode and error mode, you have one of the best, most powerful troubleshooting systems for a modern electric washer at your fingertips. Make sure to also subscribe for more videos on this washing machine too.